How's it going everyone? Landon with LMR.com. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at a few of our premium interior paint restoration systems. Here at LMR.com, our customers are our number one priority. We listen to your feedback and suggestions and then sort through those ideas as they come through. One of the more recent requests was a better solution for those of you that need to refinish several interior components instead of just one or two. We've offered our interior spray paint cans for several years now, and they have been great. And of course, to this day, they still serve as a viable solution to several enthusiasts restoring their car. However, like most things, there is typically always room for something new to better serve a customer's need. On that note, I'm here to introduce our premium interior paint restoration systems. These paint systems were built by our product development team to target restoration-minded Mustang enthusiasts that are needing to paint several interior components instead of just one or two. Whichever system you choose, we provide the correct amount of sprayers to spray an entire pint or 16 ounce can of ready to spray paint. Currently the paint is available in five different color offerings. Those color offerings are 79 to 89 black, 90 to 93 black, 79 to 89 smoke gray, 90 to 92 titanium gray, and of course, 93 to 95 opal gray. The paint is going to be ready to spray out of the container, so that means it's not gonna require any extra thinners or reducers. Now this paint does have a flex agent added to the blend, so that it's gonna work on all hard or flexible interior surfaces. The included Preval sprayer features a patented Venturi vacuum process, which draws the medium from the attached reservoir and delivers a professional grade finish without mixing the propellant and the medium together. Because of this process, the atomization of the paint is very fine and lays evenly on the surface. Now, before you begin painting, be sure and work in a well-lit and well-ventilated area. Wear eye protection and go buy an inexpensive respirator intended for painting. Me personally, I like the smell of this stuff, but it's in your best interest to have a respirator. Remember, ambient temperature and relative humidity will determine the overall drying time of the paint. Properly clean and prep any interior component that you want to spray. I've always defaulted to a simple Dawn and warm water solution with various cleaning tools that won't harm the surface. Once clean, wipe each panel with a wax and grease remover to remove any potential leftover contaminants that still may be present on the surface. Shake the can of paint for approximately one minute. If you're using a flathead to open the lid, be careful not to deform the outer rim of the can. Having a dedicated paint can opener is going to be your best bet here. Rim damage could cause sealing issues, which in turn would cause the paint to cure prematurely. Use a small funnel to pour the paint into the glass jar. I filled mine all the way to six ounces and of course kept it above three ounces throughout my entire process. Keeping the jar filled will prevent inconsistent spray patterns. It's also important to remember to reinstall the lid back onto the can after you pour your paint into the jar. Attach the siphon tube to the sprayer and then screw the sprayer onto the jar. Now you're ready to spray. When painting, make sure that the sprayer is kept at a 45 and 90 degree angle to ensure a consistent spray pattern. For optimal results, keep the sprayer tip approximately 10 inches away from the part that you're spraying. Move the sprayer at a moderate speed to ensure even coverage. Once finished, pour any leftover paint back into the container and then use your soft mallet to secure the lid back onto the can. Thoroughly clean the jar and siphon tube with paint thinner and some paper towels. If there is still propellant in the sprayer, fill the jar with approximately one to two ounces of straight paint thinner. Spray the paint thinner for approximately 10 seconds through the sprayer. If you have leftover paint or sprayers, it's probably going to be in your best interest to keep these items in a climate controlled facility or room until you need them again. Now for those of you out there that are going to be respraying an entire interior back to its original color, you'll more than likely need two pints to get the job done. Of course, keep in mind that determination can differ based off of the overall condition of your interior. Again, these paint systems are going to be for the enthusiast out there who is wanting to refinish several interior components and of course save a little cash versus buying multiple paint cans. Now for the most up-to-date product information, color availability and pricing, be sure and reference the product pages. To see more how-to and review videos covering industry-leading products, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and don't forget to turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos, and of course, for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.